Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake. I recently found this tool and thought it was really awesome and wanted to share it with you guys. This is made by Klein Tools and it actually came with this three quarter inch EMT conduit bender there. And a while back, we did a tutorial on how to bend EMT conduit. Dave kind of walks you through the entire process and kind of how to make bends and what these markings on the head of the bender mean and how to use them when you're bending conduit. And this is just a standard one. You can get this at you know, any home store. You can even order them online. And as you can see, it has lines here that help you kind of line up the bend. So as you're bending the conduit, you can see when the conduit is flush with these lines here, it will let you know that this is the angle of the bend. You've got 10, 22, 30, 45, 60, and then a hard stop for 90 degrees. And inside the channel here of the head, it's rounded. So when the conduit is in here, it'll keep its round shape and not kink. This Klein bender is exactly the same as far as when you look at it from here, you can see all of the same markings, has a 10, 22, 30, 45, 60, hard stop for 90 degree bends. But what's unique about it and unique about their tool here is this is an angle setter that came with it. And this actually snaps into the channel here at those different increments to help you line up and get a hard stop for whenever you're you're bending your conduit and you want to, instead of having to kind of guess and use the lines as a judge, you snap this into place just like that and it rests in the head of the bender flush just like that. So whenever you're bending, you just hit that hard stop and the conduit you know, will sit flush in this channel here and let you know that you're at the 45 degrees. And it's really helpful, really useful to kind of give you that, you know, that um, confidence in the angle that you're bending, instead of just trying to guess and trying to adjust and stop and look and then adjust again and keep doing that, this will help you kind of estimate, or not estimate, but actually get a confident bend in an angle that you desire. I did a couple of test bends here that you can see, and I'm actually gonna test the bends and the angles with another Klein tool. This is a like a digital readout for measuring angles and uh, level to make sure something's level. It's interesting, it's another Klein tool. We're gonna to use this to test the other Klein tool and see how accurate the angle setter is. But this first, this is one that I bent with the blue bender, which is the one that doesn't have the, uh, the angle setter. And the way you use this, I actually just got this for this video to test it out. I think this could be useful for lots of things, you know, testing your bend in general to make sure it's right or just figuring out angles for builds and stuff. But the way this works is you stick it on here and it should give you a readout. And then you can actually click hold. So when I hand bent with the bender and not the angle setter, I got an angle of 27.2 and I was trying to get 30 degree angle. So that's without the angle set tool. And this one is with the angle set tool. Sure, this is flat. Put that on there. Gotta zero it out. Come on. And so, with the angle setter tool, it's 30.2, and it was supposed to be 30. So, that actually worked like it was supposed to, which is really cool. I mean, you know, it's only a couple degrees off, and you know, this is made for tradesmen, uh, which I would imagine there's some uh, kind of codes and things that you have to stick to, maybe not for bins, but maybe so. If we have any electricians in the community, I know we have a few, let me know about that. But, you know, being a couple degrees off may not matter for a DIY project, but it does help to be accurate, especially if you're, you know, doing a couple of bill or bins that are side by side in the build or kind of mirrored on like a hoop house or something like that. But as you can see, it it's really accurate and the bin looks nice. I do have to say, when I did a test bend with the angle setter, I went a little past the angle setter and kind of kept bumping it against the angle setter. And you can see here that there's some ribs kind of started here and it kind of kinked a little bit. And in the instructions that came with the uh, angle setter tool, it said to be careful for that. So that's just user error. Actually, I actually haven't been a whole lot, but you know, this one, this one that I just did to test with this angle tool, uh, it actually looks good. There's no ribs or anything. So that's really cool. I think this tool is great. 
and will be useful for you, both the angle setter and this digital readout. So I thought you guys would enjoy that and find it useful for your projects. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one.